America and people of Earth, what you doing? Well, I'll tell you what you're doing. You're watching Richard B. Ranting. This little show here, hosted by yours truly, Richard Gustafson. And another thing you should also know, I'm very handsome. I want to show you guys something here. This is a Captain America comic book. Now, this comic book was uh, sent to me in a giveaway by the great people at Covetly. Covetly is a collectible store based out of New York, New York. They're starting to get a good social media presence. Find them. Check them out. They're really great. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on Twitter. Really cool stuff. Once again, Covetly is the name of the company. Now, I had that comic, and that's the first comic I think I've had, I want to say in about over 25 years or so. Okay? The thing then got to me going, comic books. Maybe I'll rant about comic books. Well, I'm going to rant about comic books, kids. And for everybody's least favorite portion of the program, I'm giving you the definition. Comic books. A publication that consists of comic art in the form of sequential juxtaposed panels that represents individual scenes. And in a future episode, I'll give you the definition of juxtaposed. So, in the ranting about this, we're going to do the obvious, first of all. Three of the best-selling comics of all time. I'm also going to delve into like some of the, the worst superheroes and the weirdest superheroes. So, thanks to the fine people at InsiderMonkey.com, I'm going to give you the three best-selling comics of all time. Number three is Spider-Man. We all know who Spider-Man is. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man can't with you, maybe I can't. I can't do the song. But anyways, um, it has sold over 360 million copies since it has debuted when it was created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko back in 1960. It's part of the Marvel family of comics. Um, there's 360 million copies that have been sold since the 1960s, early 60s, I believe. And I cannot, for the life of me, find out if Spider-Man's favorite brand of rice is Uncle Ben's. For the life of me, I cannot do it. I'll tell you something, how popular this, this Spider-Man is. They created a musical about Spider-Man, which is really cool. Um, I'm still waiting for the Aquaman musical to come out. So get on it, Broadway. Get on it. The second best-selling comic of all time is Batman, my favorite. Batman has sold over 400 million copies since it debuted in 1939 with DC Comics. Now, Batman is awesome. I love Batman. He's my favorite superhero of all time. I will let InsiderMonkey.com get away with him being number two. Okay? But I will say this. There is a difference between a burglar and Batman. Because Batman can go into the store without Robin. Mm-hmm. And also, I will say this, he's the only person I think in the world that can get away with wearing a mask inside 7-Eleven. And the number one best-selling comic of all time, if you've said Superman, you are intelligent. Because it is. Listen to this. Since it debuted in 1938 with Detective Comics, which, by the way, is a pre predecessor of DC Comics that we have today, it has sold over 600 million copies 600 million probably more now since I looked at this research they probably sold another million copies just now while I'm talking to you it's amazing that Superman has sold 6 million copies and is absolutely popular for a guy who's afraid of a rock really is you know and he can fly we all know that Superman can fly he can go across the country in 10 minutes and it'll take a little bit longer if TSA holds them up. All right. So those are the three best-selling comics of all time. Now we're going to get into the fun parts. This next part are the three worst superheroes of all time. And these were chosen by PopCultureAddict.com. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for this. The third worst superhero of all time is the Legion of Super Pets. In the early 50s and late 50s, early 60s, I should say. Probably early 50s. They just didn't want to show it in public. DC Comics thought it would be very fun to have these animals develop superpowers. I'm really, really, really not interested 
in a monkey who has the ability to throw poop at the speed of light. I'm not interested in that. I don't care if a horse has the ability to eat carrots in a single bag. Weird, weird how DC Comics did that. Number two is Zan from the Wonder Twins. Yeah, you know, the Wonder Twins. From the hit show, The Super Friends. That's right. He voted number two because it's simple. While his twin sister, Jaina, was able to transform herself into such cool things as like an eagle or maybe a Triosaurus Rex, a T-Rex, we'll call it that, this dude had the power to turn himself into ice cubes or buckets of water. Yeah, if I had found out that that was my superpower, I would basically retire from superpowering forever. And I would go find a decent, decent living in Hollywood. I mean, seriously, you're turning into water. Come on. Jeez. And the number one worst superhero of all time is Aqualad. Yep, never heard of Aqualad? Well, he didn't last long. Apparently, people at DC thought that Aquaman needed a sidekick. Excuse me, I'm speaking of Aqua, I'm going to my beverage real quick. Aqualad. Aqualad was as useless as a monkey's doing a football. Or a monkey screwing a football. Or as useless as me saying that stuff. I will say, though, that this segment has been filled with monkeys. So I think it's only fitting that we give a shout-out to Gleek from the Super Friends who right now, from what I've heard, is enjoying his retirement by eating a lot of bananas and enjoying reruns of Glee. Seriously, Aqualad was no, no reason to have him around. And by the way, for some reason, I had to discover this. His real name is Garth. That's what the ladies call him. All right. This is going to be fun. Because I'm now at... You think, okay, you're like, wow, it's over, right? I said the weirdest after this weirdest the three weirdest superheroes of all time I have discovered now I looked at the list on hollywood.com and they got a good list of this I chose three I chose three for this today cuz there's so many weird ones I want to focus on three the first weirdest superhero of all time is from Marvel and his name is ice cream His ability, you may be guessing, is that he can turn into any flavor of ice cream he wants. And that's it. That's all he does. I now see the problem here with the weirdness. It's also awful. It is, it is Zen from Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Twins awful. This dude needs to join Zan and retire from superpowering altogether. Flavor ice cream. Tell you what, man, he'd be he'd be, he'd be great at Baskin Robbins. Speaking of ice cream and eating, this next comic, I swear to you, this is legit. This is real. I'll even read it off my notes. They created a superhero named Big Bertha. I want you to ponder that. Now, I'm going to read to you what I discovered about Big Bertha. A supermodel by day, but when needed by the Great Lakes Avengers, which I also learned is not a minor league hockey team, they actually created a group of Avengers from the Great Lakes area. If, they're, if she is needed, she gains an enormous amount of weight, and to get back to form, she has to throw up. She has to vomit. Who in the blue blazes of hell created this woman? Uh, really, a superhero who models in the day, 
then eats enormous amount of food and gets fat. And then when she has to go back to normal, vomits. The person who probably created this, and I hope they are watching this, is probably somebody that hopefully women have not had contact with forever. That is an awful, 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 say it one more time, awful superhero to create. And I also find something very unusual too. I find it weird that ice cream ended when Big Bertha came along. So I'm going to let you guys do the calculations on that one. Hmm. The final weirdest superhero of all time, this is a weird superhero, is Arm Fall Off Boy, part of DC Comics. He had the ability to detach one of his limbs with a quick pop. As in like, I need my arm. Out it came. Frankly, it is weird, but unlike Big Bertha, who is just a horrendous character that should not have been created in the first place, Arm Fallout Boy was pretty, you could say, decent, because think about it. This is a guy that has the ability to rip his own arm off and beat the living bejesus out of you with it. We can't do that. He can. He pop, beat you with it. Or he can grab a leg and whap, whap you in the damn back with it. And then put it back together. That's, a, that's kind of incredible. But of course, sadly, Arm Fall Off Boy didn't have a good career in the NFL. So, yeah, sadly. Alright guys, that is comic books I have ranted about. Once again, I want to thank InsiderMonkey.com. I want to thank PopCultureAddict.com and thank Hollywood.com for my research. I want to thank Covetly the collector's store in New York City for that wonderful giveaway. Once again, follow them. Great people. I am going to take a week off from this thing. So, as I leave you today, I will be seeing you two weeks from today. Which means I've got a whole week to chill and relax. So I hope to see you guys two weeks from now. Same channel, YouTube. And same that time, 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central, noon on the Mountain Time Zone, and on the on the best coast, the West Coast, 11 a.m. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy my ranting, and share it with the world. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, you should do that. That's a great that's a great thing to do if you need to waste time. Just click subscribe to my channel. So I will see you all two weeks from today. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Love you.